So it would be more like a three to four second gap. If she put a point in it, two points in it, like if we're level 10 and she's got two points in it, there's there's actually almost basically no opening. I mean, I want to check it. Let's go ahead and give it a look-see. Uh, oh no, it goes 16 to 10. That's random, but okay. So she ends up at a 12 second cooldown. I end up at a 10 second cooldown. But then, and here's a really big deal. So I have a two second advantage. Once you had 20% cooldown reduction on both characters, it's only a 1.6 second advantage. With 30% cooldown reduction on both characters, I'm, I'm only at, uh, I math that wrong. 1.4 second. So I have 1.4 seconds. Twitch chat. I have 1.4 seconds. Of an opening. Basically, I don't have an opening. That's weird. So, E's cooldown and Camille goes down by six seconds, not four. I thought it went down by five. Whatever. Dude, Q Max Camille is so good and E Max Camille is so good. And I really like both of them for different reasons, and it kinda sucks because I wish I could max both of them at the same time. Why do I only get one skill per level, Twitch chat? You know what Riot should do? In Riot's endless quest to make absolutely overcomplicated champions that are way too difficult and only high ranking people can play. They should make a champion that gets two skill points per level, but they also have four abilities with no ult, and they can level two each time. So like Udyr, but he gets two points per level. Why not revitalize instead of overgrowth? Doesn't it scale way harder? No, it doesn't. Going from 170% healing to even at low health, 185% healing is not really a big deal. Oh wow, I went up like 7% total healing. Big fucking whoop. I know your name, this is not a Can Riot do something about her proccing weak points while not actually being on that side of the character? Because that shit is super fucking annoying, and she's doing it all the fucking time lately. An ally has been slain. Like, she cues inside of me, but not behind me, and the game's like, eh, fuck it, close enough and just gives it to her. And it's like, oh great. So not only does she get to proc that one, but now she gets to proc the other one. So now she gets two fucking weak points when she should have gotten none. That's fucking creep luck, dude. Opponent aggressively acting the entire game? Aha! Their jungler is also coming.
Yay, I got one. Trying to think if I wanted to get a second longsword or not. Because they have a Jarvan. Do I have armor? Yeah, I do. I was just checking if I had the armor rune or not. I think of the two second Riven Q nerf, I really would have preferred they'd pushed it back to 13 seconds. Why did my attack not go off instantly, Riot? But why was there a delay? She was knocked up, I right clicked her, and the game said, wait, Fiora's gonna die! You're lagging, you're lagging, you're lagging! Okay, you're fine now. That's my honest take of the Garen rework. Fuck that stupid cannon bitch! Is my take on the Garen rework. Well, that sucked. Hey, Jin Jin, why are you trying to fight her? Clearly beating her 1v1. Now I'm Jin Jin Devin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you guys. That's what you sound like. Every time I read chat, I just imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I kill that one? Nope. Twitch chat clearly wrong about something. I'm right! Twitch chat clearly proven wrong about something. That's a build. I mean, I'm not even upset. That, that's that's a hell of a fucking build right there.
How can t Twitch chat is an odd place. I know you're all not the same person. It's just, it's weird to me that like, the community can both have the opinion that Aatrox is over nerfed and useless now, and that Aatrox is overpowered, like it, literally at the same time. Now I understand different skill ranges will have different experiences, but even that wouldn't explain it, right? Because understand this, um, Aatrox actually doesn't do too good at low rank. So, because you're all bronzies, you should all think he's bad. Or, I mean, maybe it could be like a competitive thing. The people that watch him in like competitive play think he's overpowered, maybe? Really, Riot? I really need to remember to ban that champion. Just so we're clear, she doesn't have boots. Just so we're absolutely clear as to what just happened, she doesn't have boots. She does not have boots. She outran me so hard, she actually got from behind me, to the left of me, to in front of me, to the right of me. Through my ult movement speed, with no boots, while I was using E to run away. Yeah. I really need to remember to ban Fiora. She's kind of bad, isn't she? This is what I'm saying, Twitch. This is what I'm saying. You see these bad players on Fiora, and you see them making the champion look somewhat reasonable, and you think to yourself, how? How are you making this champion look reasonable? And that's when you realize it, Twitch chat. They're just fucking awful. Thought maybe I could catch Oriana. Didn't wait, didn't uh I mean I guess they were low on life. Shit. Oh that sucks. No, we're not going death dance rush. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like thinking to myself, wait, she's already got fucking the executioners. They will greet you as heroes. Ride be like, Fiora can technically lose trades. Buffer. Oh, I see. I see. I see. That's right. He went conqueror and sorcery, and likely he went sorcery for transcendence. 
So he's doing a full late game build, which is incredibly stupid, mind you. Like, you're doing a late game build on a lane bully? Hmm. Her parry must have just came back. God damn it. That sucks. Oh, it's a lot of true damage. They're pushing Fiora so fucking hard, so fucking hard, trying to make her a competitive pick. So hard, they're trying to force this champion. She's so broken at this point. Like, I don't even know, man. How is she broken? She's overstat to insanity. She still doesn't have a win condition. She can't win games. She just cheeses a laning phase so fucking hard. It's she's basically like Teemo to an extreme. She's like super Teemo. Win lane, lose game. And instead of giving her any win condition or, or a way to actually play the game, they just keep buffing her early game. And they just keep buffing her laning phase. And it's at the point where I'm not sure Fiora can, can lose, actually. I'm dead. Okay. You win this round, opposing team. She's everything wrong with League, basically. Fiora is everything wrong with League. Man, I'm so thirsty. Dude, I've been drinking more water lately, and it just makes me thirstier and thirstier. And I'm wondering how fucking dehydrated was I? I thought, okay, so when I queued here, I thought Fior or Soraka might run into it. A lot of people will like run at you when you're like at low HP. So I thought, oh, maybe she'll walk into it and die, you know? Well, not die, but at least like walk into it. Heal me a little bit and then I can, you know, get back in here.
Helicopter, I'd like you to know I'm a better Alistar than you. Actually, the best Alistar in the world, actually. The best at every champion. Champions I, ha I haven't even played yet, I'm probably the best at them, I just haven't tried. It's kind of shitty being me, though, because you're just the best at everything, no matter what. Which means I never really feel challenged, you know? I'm like a super duper genius. I really don't want to fight Fiora with three Infernals. Right. Team. Please tell me we can steal this or something. Ow. And Baron's up. You know what? I kind of deserve that one because I really should have remembered that Soraka had just gone that direction. Fortunately, they don't know to do Baron. Ah, incoming. Damn, don't you get tired, Hatch? My eyes would be sore after such long streaming. Yeah, gee. I, I guess I should just turn my stream off then. If Ghost Blade that bad on Aatrox, I never see you build it. Um. Yes, because I build this dance. This should be played at high volume. Preferably. So the problem here is Fiora has double infernal. Uh-oh. Yeah. I really need to remember to ban this champion. I really, really need to remember to ban this champion. So each weak point is now doing 737 damage. Yep. No biggie, no biggie. Not an issue. Reasonable, reasonable. You really need to learn how to play against this champ! Didn't I beat her in the laning phase? 
we're the champion that most people say she beats. So, am I, am I, like, what, what? Dude, you're missing your cues so badly. They're hitting me. Dude, I was willing to sit there forever. I mean, I was just sitting there like, all right. All right, let's do this, you know. I'll wait. My armor, because at this point, if I don't have Bramble Vest, I, I'm not going to get to uh, do much. Why don't chain into Guardian Angel be better? You're absolutely right, Twitch chat. When fighting Fiora, you don't want to build any healing debuff late game. Imagine top lane was a 2v2 lane and not just a 2v1 lane. I'm getting kind of kind of bored. Kind of getting bored of the 1v2 top lane. You know, it's not too exciting. I've done it a billion times. How many games have I played this season? 1500. I've done it 1500 times. Feel like feel like after 1500 I I'm kind of over it. Right it back to it shit. I'm going to get some water.
they will greet you as heroes. Surpass the frailty of your form. <laughs> 